Hey everyone. Okay. So I mentioned the other day, well, I asked if you guys would be interested in a Instagram training. Um, I have been doing lots of research and like trial and errors and just to see um, what works and what doesn't work. And um, because we all know that social media is constantly changing. Um, algorithms are always changing and we need to figure out what works and what doesn't work, right? So as you are hopping on, tell me your favorite social media platform right now. Tell me what it is and the one that you use the most. Tell me about it or tell me what it is. Um, because I feel like um, mine has changed. So I used to love Facebook. I felt like Facebook was where um, I got the most interaction, excuse me, from my customers and I got the most reactions to post and it was just, I was most comfortable on Facebook because we've all been doing Facebook for so long, right? So it's just comfortable and we feel like we have it figured out. So um, when you finally feel like you have something figured out, technology and times and just life always throws a curveball, right? So Facebook is still very powerful and can be used to uh, help your business thrive. But if you want to grow your business through social media and you want to get a hold of people's attention that you did not know before social media and you want to have a huge following, Instagram is where it's at, okay? So on Instagram, you can have unlimited followers. We get stopped of friends on Facebook at 5,000. And I can tell you right now I have like, I don't accept tons of friend requests because of this, but I have like 3,500 friends and the reason why I don't accept all these people is because even more is because I know I get stopped at 5,000 and I want to make room for my customers, right? Um, so Instagram, you don't have to worry about that. You can have as many followers as you want. Like you can, it never stops you, okay? Um, hashtags on Instagram are gold, okay? So Facebook is not a place where you use hashtags. That's not where people go and search hashtags, but Instagram, you can post a hashtag and somebody can click on a hashtag, say, um, I'm going to do like women who inspire women is one hashtag that I use sometimes. You can click that hashtag and every post that anyone has ever used that hashtag in will come up. So it's really easy to find content that you're looking for. You can also follow hashtags on Instagram. So I follow um, that hashtag. I follow boss babes. I follow um, different Disney hashtags because I love Disney so much. I follow Cincy's hashtag, right? Okay, so you can follow hashtags. So then anyone that hashtags that will come up in my feed. I will see their post. This helps us because if, when we use hashtags, our post comes up in people's feed that we don't even know, but have a common interest in. So this is huge. And I can tell you right now that um, millennials and younger are going away from Facebook. And if we want to grow a business and continue to recruit and sponsor people and change lives, we have to go where the people are going, where our target audience is going. And I'm telling you, it's not Facebook anymore. I want you to continue to utilize Facebook the way that you are and the way that I've taught you and the way that you've learned and all of the things. It's a great place to have a VIP page because you can't do that on Instagram. But I'm telling you right now, Instagram is something you need to learn. And I, I don't expect any of you to already know all of these things. I hated Instagram a year ago. Like I wouldn't even click on it. 
Um, anything I posted on Instagram before would be something that I would really just wanted on Facebook and I would click to share to both, right? Okay, so there's a lot of things that you are not supposed to do on, on Instagram. So let me back up one step. So algorithms, if you don't know what that is, that is pretty much when Facebook and Instagram shows you what they think you wanna see, okay? So they're very, very smart and it knows what you wanna see. It knows who you wanna interact with. Um, it knows what you like, what you don't like, how long you look at it, something, like how long you sit and look at a picture for, it knows what you say, okay? Like, let's be real. Like, you can literally say something to somebody and it will end up showing up in your timeline. Like, it's creepy, but it knows. So nobody really knows how to figure out an algorithm. No one knows, there's no solid answer because for one, it changes all the time. And for two, nobody knows. Nobody knows exactly how to outsmart an algorithm and be seen in every single body's, everybody's feed. So I'm gonna give you tips to do and don't do to help your algorithm. Um, you don't have to go to Instagram and do all of these things if you don't want to. But if you want to, that's why I'm sharing it with you. So don't feel pressured that you have to run your business on Instagram now or anything like that. This is just if you wanna take this information and do something with. I can tell you from personal experience, I have sponsored um, quite a few people recently because of social media and none of them have been because of Facebook. So I get lots of people that contact me because of my YouTube channel and my Pinterest, but we're not gonna talk about those two today, and also my Instagram. So I'm gonna just tell you things that I've read and that I've been doing that work. I promise you it works, but it doesn't happen overnight. So I'm gonna start with things that I don't want you guys doing because this will drop your algorithms and Instagram will know you are phony and you are spammy and nobody wants to see that. Like we don't wanna follow people like that. We don't wanna look at that all day long. So Instagram is gonna drop that because they want people to stay on Instagram. They want people scrolling forever and spending all their time on Instagram. So they're not gonna show you the crap that nobody wants to see, okay? So nobody wants to look at graphics. I don't care what graphic it is, they don't wanna see it. Don't post a graphic or an advertisement on your Instagram feed. Don't do it, okay? If there's an LTO coming out and all we have is a graphic, you can post that in your story. Don't put it in your feed, okay? Your feed has to look pretty. Don't post a graphic, okay? Like, I cannot say this enough. It is so important. It's, it literally looks like spam to Instagram and they're like, nope, nobody wants to see this account. Don't, what does it say? Don't, oh, okay. So don't reuse the same hashtags every time. There are apps out there that you can use to help you find hashtags. You can do your own research to find out which hashtags are trending. Um, there are things called shadow bans with Instagram. They have things where if you click on a hashtag, some, that sometimes nothing will come up at all. Um, and that's because it's shadow banned, okay? So don't use those hashtags because if you use a hashtag, say hashtag dog mom, and I don't think that that's even one, but if it was and it was shadow banned and Instagram pretty much like shut that hashtag down and you used it, your post will not show for anybody. Um, so make sure the hashtags that you're using are not shadow banned. So I use, um, um, oh man, hashtag generator or I cannot remember the name of it. It's a pink app with like the hashtag sign on it. I'll look at it in a second. Actually, it might be on my iPad right here. So do not use that. Um, Tara, you just reminded me of something. Hashtag expert, that's what it is. It's a pink icon, it's called hashtag expert. If you don't have a pen and paper right now, grab one, because <laughs> I'm gonna throw so much info at you, and I want you to be able to write it down, and then you can come back and watch it too, but um, I'm gonna throw a lot of stuff at you, and if you are not familiar with Instagram, it's gonna feel overwhelming, so take notes if you can. Um, so do not use a hashtag that is shadow banned, because your post, automatically, none of it gets seen. 
none of the hashtags will get seen. Nobody can search for your uh, content through your hashtag. Also, don't, like, like I said, don't reuse the same list of hashtags. Before, it was always told like, have a list of hashtags in your notes and copy and paste them on your post. We don't want to use hashtags that are relevant to our entire page as a whole. We want to use hashtags that are relevant to that individual post, okay? So if I post a picture of me and my dog, I'm gonna use hashtags like Yorkies of Instagram or dog moms or whatever it is, but that post, I'm not gonna hashtag social media expert or um, work at home mom or, you know, like I'm going to do specific post or hashtags to that exact picture. And they're gonna be different than ones I normally use, okay? So a lot of my posts are similar and I could use the same hashtags for a lot of my posts, but I'm changing that up because your content has to be changing. It has to have the same general like feel or like, okay, so like you, you know you follow people that love gardening or love farmhouse or love um, direct sales or being a boss babe or Disney. Like your page needs to have that and it does not have to be Scentsy. It should not be Scentsy, okay? You need to have something outside of Scentsy don't use your account to attract people to you because of Scentsy. They're not going to follow you because you're a Scentsy consultant. The only people that are gonna follow you because you're a Scentsy consultant is other Scentsy consultants. Okay, so that does nothing for our business. Find what you like or what's different about you or what you are good at and use that to attract people. Don't use Scentsy, okay? Don't use your tiles and your feed to advertise. That is what we do with stories. We talk about our business, we talk about our Scentsy, we talk about changing our wax, all of those things on our stories. It's okay to post a picture of something in your house and you have a Scentsy warmer in it, but I don't want you posting a picture of just a warmer and say, this warmer is $35. That's not what the feed is for. That is what your stories are for, is to share Scentsy there and have people ask you about it. And I know that this sounds so backwards to people that are used to using Facebook to sell Scentsy, but I'm telling you, it's just, it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore where you post a picture of something and say it's for sale and people are, they don't want to see it. And Instagram is not going to let them see it because they know they don't want to. So no one's going to. You aren't going to find new people by posting warmers and wax and all the things with prices and just the names of them. Um, you're going to have to find other ways to post Scentsy products in the background or but in your stories. And we'll get to stories. Okay, so those are the don'ts that I want to say. Also, don't leave your account private. If your account is private, nobody can find you. No one's going to add you in hopes that you post cool stuff. They are going to have to click on your page, look at it quickly, be captured really quickly by the link in your bio, or not the link, your bio at the top, which we will talk about that, in the way that your feed looks. And if it is not pretty eye-catching and in like creating value, they're not gonna follow you. I don't follow people in other direct sales companies because they're trying to sell me something. I follow other people because I want to see what they have to say. They add value to my feed. They capture my attention. Um, that's why I follow people and that's why people will follow you. I want you to be consistent. Instagram is just like a Scentsy business or any other business. You have to be consistent and I don't mean post 10 times a day because that's not good either. You need to be posting every day, every other day, every three days on your feed. Um, your stories, you can post as much as you want. They say, they say you should always have between 20 and 30 stories at a time. Now, if, you're, if social media is not your thing and that's overwhelming, don't do it. I'm just saying like that's what they say is like the sweet spot for stories. Um, that is where you can share when you get something cool in the mail um, or you found a deal on something or you're cooking a new recipe. That's where you can add value 
in a lot more less attractive way. You don't have to have the perfect background and the perfect lighting and all the things for your stories, but you do for your feed. Your feed should be attractive. Um, so be consistent. Also, to be consistent and not take up your entire day or to exert too much energy or to control what you're doing, set a reminder on your phone. Like you can tell your phone to remind you every two days to post something on Instagram. Now, whenever you have a good day where you feel like you look cute or you have something big going on, take more than one picture and only post one and then wait a couple days and post another one. Like you don't have to post all of them at once. You can post one picture at a time and just be consistent with it. Um, don't, I also forgot to say this earlier, don't use an auto poster. Like you know how they have the apps that will post for you when you say to, like at a certain time, don't use those. Instagram does not like them. It recognizes it and they don't like it. They look at it like spam. So don't do that either. Um, so some things that Instagram likes is reels. Now, if you don't know what reels are, they are new. And if you know what TikTok is, it's pretty much Instagram's TikTok, okay? Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I have not done one yet. And I keep telling Michaela, like, I've gotta do a reel, I've gotta do a reel, but like, I haven't yet, I'm going to. So Instagram doesn't want its followers and its users to go to another app, like TikTok, and then come to Instagram and post it they don't want you leaving Instagram. They wanna have everything that they need or that you need in one app, so they have added Reels. So if you do a Reel, it bumps your algorithm. You will be seen by more people if you start using Reels. Instagram IGTV, that's something else that's important. Going live on Instagram, that's something else that's important. They want you using all of their features. And if you're consistently using all of their features, they're going to show you to more people. They want those people being seen because that's the behavior they want done. What gets recognized and rewarded gets repeated. It's the same as you know, us getting awards for things we do in our business from Cincy, Instagram will reward you for using all of their features by bumping your algorithm. What I want you to do is in your feed is to show who you are. Let people get to know you in your feed. When I click on your page, I should be able to, or your account, I should be able to see some things that you like. I should be able to tell what you got, what you do like as a family, what your hobbies are. I should be able to tell what you're good at. I should be able to recognize that really quickly. Another way to show people who you are and show them quickly, because you literally have seconds when someone clicks on your page, you have like five seconds to cap, probably less, to capture somebody's attention before they swipe back over and keep scrolling their feed, is your bio. Your bio is so important. I do not want your bio to say Scentsy Consultant. And I know that sounds crazy, but I don't want it to say Scentsy Consultant because it's spammy. Find a different way to say that you're a Scentsy Consultant to where it doesn't sound like you're just trying to sell something to them. Mine says, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me. It's together.we.make dot sense together we make sense s-c-e-n-t-s so my my bio says i gotta turn my ipad um i straighten first of all it says stacy b and then it says social media queen, queen. memphis oh my gosh um he scared the crap out of me it says social media queen as my name like stacy b social media queen because when somebody searches on instagram for something if they're not going to search for stacy b they're gonna search for like Instagram tips or social media tips or whatever it is and my name will come up because it says social media queen. But my bio says, I straighten crowns for a living, hope dealer and fragrance expert, find me in all these places with an, a finger pointing down and I have a linked tree account there. If you don't know what linked tree is, look it up. It's a really cool uh, website where you can add different websites into one spot 
it gives one link to post and on the one link it will show all the other places that you can be found let me show you so this is what my link tree looks like okay so it says shop cincy and when they click on my shop cincy there's my website oh i clicked out of it um, I have my Instagram on there because I post this on Pinterest also. My YouTube channel. It takes them to my YouTube channel. My Facebook, join Scentsy, catalog, VIP group, and subscribe to Scentsy Club. Okay, you can get a linked tree account. It's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. -E. You can get one of those for free. And you can add all of your links and post that in your bio. I'm telling you right now, people want to shop online. They want what we have, but they want it to be easy. They literally want to see link in bio on your story so they can click your bio, click your link and bam, be shopping. That is almost too much work. Like it's been proven that like people don't want to take the extra steps, but I get tons of interaction because of my link tree and all of my websites being listed in one spot. So get a link tree and put that in your bio. Your bio should not be too long and it should not be too short. Find that sweet spot, um, describe who you are, what you're about, and try to do it to where you can capture attention. Um, I want you, Instagram wants you to interact. You should be interacting with like-minded people and accounts more than you scroll. So go follow other people that have the same interest as you. If your interest and in your thing on Instagram is fitness, go follow fitness people and interact with their post. It wants you talking to people. It wants you commenting. It wants you liking. It wants you saving, okay? The more you do this, the more Instagram is gonna recognize you as a valuable, account and boost your algorithm to people that have the same interest as you. Um, let's see. Get people to interact with you, okay? When people interact with you on Instagram, Instagram recognizes that also. They recognize that if people are interacting with you, you must have something that other people are going to like. So when you post something, it's okay. It's actually really good if you ask a question in your caption. Ask them to like your post if they agree with you. Ask them to comment something. Ask them to save your post. So on Instagram, there's a little thing in the corner that looks like a bookmark. When people save a post on Instagram, that is the biggest thing that they can do for you. That is the most important thing for the algorithms right now is if you people are saving your post, it tells them that they it's, it's such a good post and it creates so much value that they wanna save it so they can come back to it again later. Ask people to do that for you. Um, I want you to find ways to post things that people are going to want to read and use in their life. Talk about tips, talk about decor the way you decorate, talk about the way that you do your fitness routine, talk about whatever you're good at, you have something to offer. There's something out there that you are good at that you enjoy and you can add value and share things with other people because that's what you're good at. You have something to offer. Your post shouldn't just be a picture that somebody just keeps scrolling by. It should be something that they're like, oh, that's cool. Or I'm gonna save that and come back to it later. Um, the most important thing when it comes to Instagram's algorithms is like that helps you is when people bookmark your things, like save your post. The second thing is comments. The third thing is likes. Likes are not nearly as important, as important as bookmarks. When they save your post, it's like supercharging your algorithm. It like shoots you way up there. Now, also, when you go to your Instagram, you will see, 
Let me take my iPad off this. That's better. So when you go to Instagram, you will see if I can get this to focus. Maybe, there we go. You will see these right here. These are called highlights. Your highlights are also important. So whenever you post a story, if there is something in your story that you want to highlight, which to be seen from then on, because we all know that stories are only there for 24 hours, but if you highlight it, it stays there forever, okay? So you should be highlighting, oh, I'm sorry, it's not even like, I can't even see it. You should be highlighting things that you want to stay on your Instagram forever so people can see it, okay? So I have like hope dealer boss tips. So I recently added this because I have so many people like Scentsy Consultants asking me questions about things that I do. So I added that on there. So you can add, but also I have my vitamins. I have my pets. I have favorite things that I love. I don't know why that's not showing up. Um, and lots of other things. It wants you to highlight things from your stories, but it also wants your, you should have your cover photos all in a theme, okay? You can find these cute little highlight cover photos on Pinterest. There's tons of them. I don't care what your theme looks like, pick a color that you like or a theme that you like and run with it. Make your, your highlight covers, um, look the same. It looks clean. It's more appealing to people that click on your profile than if you have tons of different random pictures because it, it will automatically select a random picture unless you pick a highlight cover photo. It's all about making your page look attractive and worth following. We talked about bio. Okay, so I want you to use, here's some apps I want you to write down. So first of all, hashtag expert. That is a good one to help you pick out hashtags. You can either have it, gen you can type in one hashtag and click generate and it will tell you all the, the hashtags similar to yours. You can only do 20 hashtags. It will do that for you. But I have found that if you click the other one where you like select your own, um, it's better because then it gives you a huge list and you just click which hashtags you would like to use um, for that post, copy them and paste them onto your post, okay? Hashtag expert, in shot, I in space shot. This is a vid video editing app that you can use for Instagram. Um, in stories, I in stories, and this is where you can, an app that you can make animated stories. So you can make things um, also like off of Instagram, like a pretty story and then upload it to Instagram. Um, unfold, this helps you, this is like a plug and play template where you can plug in your pictures and make templates and fun stories, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about stories for a second. I've talked about them in Hustling to Director, the leadership program that I'm doing, but stories, are gold. I'm telling you right now, there is nothing better you can do for your business right now in the times in 2020 than to start using your Instagram stories and Facebook. So when you post on Instagram stories, it can automatically go to your Facebook stories. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people will start to see your stories the more consistent you are with them. These are so important because we're not going to be using graphics and advertising our Scentsy products in our timelines or our grids, but we can post about us changing our wax on our stories and that will capture everybody's attention. Sorry, I need a drink. Stories are where you share what you're doing throughout the day. It's where you talk about the joint opportunity. It's where you unbox your whiff box and show them what's inside of it. It's where you let them get to know your kids' personalities or what you do for a living or when you're on vacation. Um, stories are so flipping important. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing better that you can do for your social media game and your business right now than to work on getting good at stories. If you go to Pinterest 
or TikTok, you can look up story tips, Instagram story tips, and it will show you cool things to do with your stories to make them look like not like every single body, everybody else's stories. Um, different fun things you can do with text and different things you can do with stickers and all of these different things to make your story stand out. This is where people go to on Instagram and Facebook the most because it's really easy to make your life look perfect from a picture in a newsfeed. It's really easy. It's really easy for me to act like my house is not chaotic 99% of the time. But in my stories, it's really hard to act like that because it's life. It's videos. It's, you can hear the chaos. You can see the chaos. And honestly, like, I'm okay with that. I want people to not, to know that I don't think I'm perfect. I want people to know that I, I have days where I could literally pull my hair out because my kids are stressing me out. I want them to know that I'm a real person and I want them to get to know me. And I use my stories to do that. I recently was camping and we were, actually, it was just this last weekend, and we were riding in our golf cart, taking the boys trick-or-treating, and this lady walks up to our golf cart, and she was like, you're gonna think I'm a creep. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she was like, I bought Cincy from you one time from um, my cousin had a party, and I've been following you on Facebook, and I literally feel like I know you and your kids and your husband, and I absolutely love following you. She's like, you are a highlight to my day. I love watching your family. You guys are so fun. I did not know her from Adam, but she feels like she knows me. And that's how you build a trustful relationship with people to where they want to buy from you and they want to join your team because they think they know you. Because they do. In your stories, you're being vulnerable. Those stories are only there for 24 hours. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if... Your house looks a little messy in the background or your kids screaming or your dog's barking. Like, it's okay. That's what people want to see. They want to know the real you. And this is how you will show them. This is how you show a whole lot of people at one time. This is how you build relationships with people. I feel like I know other people that I've never met because I follow their Instagram stories or their Facebook stories. You don't have to start using them and be a pro. But in order to be a pro and to be really good at this stuff, you have to start today or tomorrow. Make it your goal to learn a little bit. Start messing with it. If you don't have an Instagram account, the first step is to freaking download Instagram, right? I love Instagram because it's less drama. I feel like Instagram is a place where I can go and scroll and I don't feel bogged down with negativity. And it's also a place where I can go and click on stories and literally laugh at people in a good way. Like people are funny. They're hilarious. And like to see a sneak peek into their daily life, like it's fun to watch. It's like reality TV. This is what people want. We don't want to see picture perfect people because we are not picture perfect. Instagram is a place where you can have both. You can have a really pretty news feed or account, tiles, whatever it's called, and then you can show the real you at the same time. You can show them the amazing parts of your life that are super attractive, and you can talk about the Scentsy opportunity and how it's changed your life. You can show them that changing your wax makes you happy every single day. You can show them who you are. And it's, it's really fun and freeing to not have to try to be perfect. That's what stories are for. So I hope that you guys will believe me and trust me and start to try to work on Instagram because I'm telling you in the last couple of months, I have gotten people to join. I have found new customers. I've found people to follow that I love to follow now. Um, I just recently followed an account for somebody that is local to me that makes uh, Disney tumbler cups. And I reached out to her and asked her if I could give her a Scentsy product, if she would shout me out on her page because she has a ton of followers. And 
she ended up buying Scentsy from me and sharing it and she's super excited. So like Instagram is, it's just like a new place that's way more refreshing than Facebook. You don't feel like heavy after you get off of Facebook. Like that's not how I feel when I get off of Instagram. Um, I see that somebody said that they have creepy men messaging them, block them. Okay. I know that like it's kind of, sometimes it can be scary to have a public account on social media, but just block them. If somebody messages you that you don't like block them, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm telling you right now, if your account on Instagram is private, you will never get another follower, a random follower. It just doesn't happen. And if it is, it's going to be a creepy guy <laughs> because um, people want to see why, what they're getting into Amazon shh, before they follow you. We just don't follow people we don't want to see from. So um, put your stuff pr public and try to start following some of these tips. And just remember, if next week you don't have 100 new followers, it's okay. If you are consistent and you're doing these things for a long time, you will slowly start building your business and you will find people that want to get to know you and they eventually want to join your team and they want to buy products from you because they see what this business is doing for your life and what these products are doing to your life. This Scentsy business will add value to other people's lives. We just have to find a way to show them without spamming them. And that's all of these tips is how you can do it. I hope that you guys learned something today. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Um, you are more than welcome to go follow me on Instagram um, to see what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm not perfect by any means. I don't have thousands and thousands of followers. I think I'm at like, I'm getting closer to 4,000 followers. Um, but when I started doing this not too long ago, really working on my Instagram a couple of months ago, I only had like a little over a thousand. So um, feel free to follow me. And I hope you learned something today.